a daily dose of practical wit and wisdom with a professional educator and trainer, Amazon best-selling author, United States Marine, television and radio host, Paul G. Markle. Each episode will focus on positive and productive ways to strengthen your mindset and help you improve your relationships, career goals, and overall well-being. Please welcome your host, Paul G. Markle. Okay, welcome back once again to Morning Mindset. Thank you for joining me. Thank you for sharing this. Thank you for being a part of this show. New and Improved Tide, part two. We're going to talk about change. Now, yesterday we we said that uh, oftentimes when we do New and Improved Tide or when we hear that, newness or improvements, are they necessarily better? You say, well, you know, new is always better and improved is always better, but is it really? Or are we just trying to sell people snake oil? Are we just trying to sell people on the concept that something is new, sexy, more interesting? Is it really? Are we making it better or are we just changing it for the sake of change? Now, change can be a positive. Obviously, we've talked about this before, but uh, in the new and improved tide syndrome, could there be a reason to make the tide new? Could there be a reason to change it? Did we find a new formula that works better? And if that is the case, great, awesome. Many people who uh, have been using powder detergent or liquid detergent for all their lives, you know, they're like, well, you know, I get the powder everywhere or sometimes it leaves a film behind or this or that or whatever. And these Tide Pods are much better. So they're actually new and improved. And they taste better. No, they, I'm kidding. They don't taste better. But, uh, you know, the Tide Pods may be an actual real improvement over the big boxes of powder or the jugs of liquid. Okay, that might be a real thing. But before you walk into a situation and decide, hey, we need to change this product. We need to change this method. We need to change the way we're thinking. Why? Well, because change is good and change is new and change is fresh. Yes, change can be good, but it's not good just in and of itself. You know, that, you know, hope and change, what does that mean? It's empty. It's hollow. It means nothing. Change isn't always good. Sometimes change is for the worse. Now, change can be a positive thing if undergone thoughtfully with a valid reason. Yes. Oh, come on. This requires intellectual honesty and the ability to apply critical and analytical thought. Now, previously, we talked about the we've always done it that way crowd, or what I like to call the three ring binder syndrome. You know, I spent a lot of time working uh, in and with the United States military and any government agency, and the military is a classic example, if they've been established for a lot of years, even hundreds of years, like the United States military, you have the three ring binder syndrome. That that's the way I was taught it. That's the way my instructor was taught it. That's the way his instructor was taught it. That's the way we've been teaching it since George Washington dismounted his horse and retired. That's how long we've been doing it that way. And we're not changing it for you, smart guy. Okay. Is there a valid reason behind why we've always done it that way or why it's in the three ring binder? Or are we just doing that because to make changes or improvements would require effort and we just don't want to put in the effort because it's easier not to. But before you become the smart aleck new guy or the smart aleck new lady and you show up with all these changes and improvements, don't, ex- don't assume that the people that have been doing it X way all this time are going to be happy that you've shown up with new reasons to do something else, improvements or changes or whatever. <laughs> Just because you showed up and had all these new ideas, these fresh changes that you want to make, doesn't mean people are going to accept it. Matter of fact, they're probably going to push back against it because we fear change. Before you make suggestions for improvement, before you walk up and say, hey, let's change this, let's do this differently, you need to be prepared to back that up 
with some type of real data or at very least a well thought out reason. If you go to someone and you say, hey, let's do it this way. And they say, all right, why? Because it's new, because it's different, because it's a change. None of those things are valid reasons. <laughs> We're not going to change the way we do things just so it can be different, just so it can be a new way. I would hope that you won't. I would hope that you wouldn't make changes just because you think it'll be new or cool or sexy or what have you. How many of you out there have encountered products in your daily life and you think, this product was an answer looking for a question. No one needs this product, but here it is anyway. <laughs> that kind of falls in the, uh, the category of just because you can do something doesn't necessarily mean you should. I mean, you can make a hot dog sundae. Doesn't mean you should, but you can. So when it comes to new and improved tide part number two, Yes, change can be a positive. Change can be a good thing. But change isn't good in and of itself. And if you're going to lead a positive and productive and successful life, before you just institute a change for the sake of change, you need to actually have a well thought out, analytical, critical reason to do so. And you need to be able to explain that. You know, because not everybody's going to say, hey, yeah, let's just change it for fun or let's change it just because. No. That's how things actually genuinely improve. That's how we make things genuinely better is by having well thought out, critical, analytical thoughts and reasons to make that change. All right. So <laughs> new and improved pot tide part two, change can be a good thing. But be prepared to give your reasons why. Like I said, just because you can doesn't mean you should. <laughs> All right, folks, I am Paul Markle, and I will talk to you again real soon. Thank you for spending time with us today. To get show notes, submit a topic request, and for more from your host, Paul G. Markle, visit morningmindsetpodcast.com. That's Morning Mindset podcast.com. Please leave a review for this podcast on your favorite podcast player. We appreciate your time and effort and we look forward to reading your honest feedback.